Let stretch. So just reaching with a right arm for the ceiling and reaching to the left side. So it should feel a slight stretch underneath your, um, your armpit. And just pulse a little bit. We'll do that for a couple more times. And then we switch to the other side. Here we go and switch. Sorry. And we're going to swing with our right arm to the right side. And when I swing, I'm also moving my right ankle. So I'm turning with my right ankle. So I'm pointing kind of with my whole body in the direction where I'm moving my arm. So I do that for a couple more times and then I'm going to switch to the other side. Okay, last one. Switch to the other side. So. Okay, now from here, I'm going to slowly move both my hands into a forward fold. So I'm going to try and reach for the mat if I can. So, and same as always, if that's difficult, if you can just get hold on your ankle, that's perfect too. So just hold it here for a little longer. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, and then get back up again slowly. We're going to do some baby back bends. So we're going to kind of do some push ups into the air. So move our arms, like pulling them towards us and your uh, shoulder blades, they should be moving towards each other while we're doing this. We're doing this because we're going to work with a little bit of weight, so try to prepare our shoulders for um, planks and other, um, well, arm-related work. So, uh, from here, get back into a neutral position on your mat. We're going to do just some shoulder rolls. So starting to the back, rolling my shoulders to the back. And you can tuck your chin so you also stretch your neck a little bit. Okay. Now switch other direction, shoulders rolling them to the front. Tuck your neck, keep going. Keep going. And then from here, we go into a toilet squat. So a toilet squat is a squat where you, uh, where your knees are um, between your hands and your heels are lifted off the floor. So I'm like this, okay? And from here, I'm going to push my hips to the back if I can on flat feet and then squat again. So push my hips up and squat again. So whenever I squat with a straight back, if you can, and your heels are lifted from the floor and you look straight ahead. So we do this for a couple more times. Okay. Now, start at one side of your mat. And we're going to do a couple of inchworms. So I'm going to walk my hands away from my feet. So I am in a high plank position. I hold it here for two seconds and then I walk my hands back towards my feet. 
and my legs they stay extended the whole time. So let's do five more. Number two, three. Four. Last one. Okay. Now from here, let's get into a squat position, normal squat position. Normal squat position. And we're going to do a squat with a calf raise. So Basically, we squat and then we come up, but we raise our car or we stand tall on our tiptoe. So I do it again. So I squat and I come up, but I extend and I hold my balance on my tiptoes. Okay. And I squat again. I do the same thing hold it and squat. Okay. So we do 10 of those. Here we go. Squat, hold, one, two. Squat, hold, that's number two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember your knees are pushing out. Nine, ten, okay. Some good old backward lunges. On the right side first, so 90 degrees, 90 degrees, lunge backward, hold it, and let's do 10 on the left on the right side, 10 on the left. So this is number three, four, five, six, seven. Woohoo! I see you have some good company, Jane. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, and switch. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Okay, shake it out a little bit. Now, give me five bear crawls and then we start. So, on your hands and feet, knees are hovering above the floor. I'm going to move forward like a bear and move backward, trying to keep my hips level, my back straight, and not. Uh, touching with my knees on the floor. Okay, so give me five. Here we go. So I count forward and backwards as one today because <laughs> I know you are strong, ladies. It's number three, four, last one. And five. Okay. Now we start with um, the first set. So first we start with uh, legs and glutes. Mm. So for this one, you can hold your weight if you want some additional challenge. So for your water bottle. And we are going to do two pulse squats and a calf raise. That's the first exercise. So get onto your mat. So just holding your weight close to you. Your feet are shoulder width apart. And we're just going to do one, two, stand up on our tippy toes, hold it and squat down again, okay? So this is what we do. We try to do it for 40 seconds, and then we switch to the next one. 
Here we go. Okay. Pulse, pulse, stand up, hold it, pulse, pulse, stand up, hold it, pulse, pulse, stand up, hold it, pulse, pulse, up. Fifteen seconds to go. Try to not lose your balance when you're on your tiptoes, but it looks good. There we are. Okay, next we hold our weight and we are going to do two, uh, sorry, one lateral squat. Um, we will start to the right side and then we do the left side. So basically it's going to look like this, squat and back, squat and back. So, okay, here we go, starting now. So remember that your chest, your shoulders are back. So don't, even though you're holding a weight, don't drop your shoulders forward, okay? So fight against that gravity that wants to pull you forward and Keep your weight close to your chest. 10 seconds. Five. That's it. Okay, we switch to the other side, starting now. So. Having a bit of coordination issues today. Mia. Okay, 15 seconds. And that's it. Okay, rest. Next, we have a single leg deadlift with a weight. And then we're going to um, change the weight from the left hand to the right hand. So starting on the right side, I'm going to, like we did a couple of times, right? We're going to do a single leg deadlift like this, okay? Then I'm going to pass my weight from the right to the left hand, keep my balance, pass it back, and I'm going to get up again. So I do this, 40 seconds on the right side, and then switch to the other side. Let's see how that goes, okay? If it's too long, if it's too intense, you just take a break in between, okay? Here we go. So. Da -da -da. Switch from left to right, switch it back, and get back up. And hinge forward again. Whoops, and don't lose your balance. Ma'am, it's not my balance kind of day. I hope you have more stability. <laughs> Switch to the other side. So. Uh -oh. So you hold the weight in the same hand as where you are standing on the leg. So stable leg, stable arm. Okay. 
There we go. So for the next one, you can put your weight aside and we're going to lie down on our back and do once again an exercise. It's good for the pelvic floor. Um, it's called a split tabletop. So basically your feet are up like this in a 90 degree angle. And you are going to um, split the tabletop. So you're going to open up your legs like this as far as you can, and then close them again. So try to, when you're doing this, think of your pelvic floor and also um, squeeze your glutes. It's going to help you to recruit all the muscles that you want to activate when you're doing this movement. Okay, so here we go, 40 seconds. Starting now, so open and close. Open and close. Open, close. Open, close. And try to also, when I say think about your pelvic floor, whenever you close your legs, you're really trying to squeeze your, like that ping pong ball. <laughs> You're trying to suck it in. <laughs> That's what you could be thinking about. And squeeze your lower back into the floor. There we are. Okay, so this was our first leg and glute sets. Like I said, easy just for exercises. Now we switch to the second one. Uh, arms, shoulders, back and chest. So sorry uh, take your um, your weights if you have two even better and put them at one end of your mat um put them next to each other because we're going to try and do a modification of a renegade row so renegade row is when i am in a high plank position okay so if that's too difficult then go on your knees um, or do a couple like uh, complete planks and then switch to your knees. But you're going to take your bottle, okay? And if you can, I don't know if it's like a bottle and you can maybe not grasp it with your hands, but ideally you wanna make like, you wanna pull it towards you. If you cannot do that, it's not a problem, okay? You're just going to take your bottle, place it on the outside of your mat, Put your hand back and do the same on the other side, okay? So try to see if that works with your bottle, if you have the, yeah, if it's not too big. And if that still doesn't work, then you can just don't use the bottle and just like tap your shoulders, okay? That's an alternative one. It's still going to work your chest. Here we go, 40 seconds, starting now. So put my weights between and I'm going to bring it on one side, drop it and other side. So when I'm doing this, I also want to keep my hips still, okay? I want to not let them move or let them move as little as possible. And as I said, you can switch to your knees Anytime, you will see that then it's slightly easier to move your bottles or your weights. Five seconds. There we go. Okay, shake it out a little bit in your arms. It's still hard on your elbows and your wrists. For the next one, we are going to do a posterior plank. So flip around and from a seated position, we're going to, uh, so seated like this, feet are away from our, um, from our upper body. And we're going to, well, actually easiest is if you just, if you support yourself a little bit on your heels because you're going to move into a posterior plank like this. So you're going to try and push your hips as high as you can, but from this position, okay? So 
That's the movement. Um, so you want to have a little bit of grip on your heels, but it's not like you're placing your feet close to your butt, okay? So you want to have the challenge of having this far reach, but you want to also be able to push yourself up. So find where you still have that power, right? So if you cannot do it, then do place your feet, like keep your knees in a uh, 45 degree angle and then push yourself up like this, okay? So because we're going to try and hold it for 40 seconds, so it doesn't work, I'll tell you when we have 20 seconds and then we just take a break and then uh, we do it another 10 seconds or so, okay? So starting now, let's see how it goes. Okay, and up. So ideally you want to be as straight as a plank, right? That's why it's called a, a reverse plank. Uh, you want to squeeze your glutes, your abs. And now we did 20 seconds, more than that. So if it's getting too hard, then feel free to take a break. But I see both of you are still going strong. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, great job. Shake out your um, wrists a little bit. Now stay on your back. Take your bottles or your weights. We're going to do a lying overhead uh, dumbbell pull or bottle pull. So for this, uh, the, the bra area where sometimes there's some fat that we don't like so much as women. So lie down. And what we're going to do is from a... Um, so my arms are straight above my, um, basically above my face, okay? I'm going to now keep my upper arms in this position, but I'm going to bend my lower arms towards my head. So basically you want to either have your weights or bottles coming right at, above your, so touching the floor, yeah? Or just coming until your forehead. Obviously, don't drop down on your forehead. Huh? I don't want any accidents here. So be careful. Okay, that's your move. And then you go back straight arms. Okay, so it's important that you keep your arms in this position. So don't move your upper arms. Stay, stay still. You're only bending your, um, your lower arms. So your, uh, how is it called? Lower arms, right? Okay, here we go, 40 seconds starting now. Straight, bend, 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 and extend. Bend, and extend. Bend. Looking good. Ten seconds. That's it. Drop your weights. Okay, now we have one more in this set, which is a hollow body hold. So we did it before. Um, and you stay in this position, basically. We're going to lift our shoulders off the mat and our feet. Um, and we're going to try and hold it for 40 seconds. If that's too long, then by all means, take a break. 40 seconds is long, so don't worry if it's too long, okay? So it's going to look like this, yeah? And you want to squeeze your abs together and your glutes. And uh, so lift your feet, at least your feet. Now lift at least your shoulders off the mat. If, you're, if your feet get too heavy, then drop your feet and remain your shoulders high, okay? Here we go, starting now. So. Okay. 
And Anna, this is a very good exercise to check yourself. So look at your belly, see how it looks. If you still have any ridge or if it's just flat, if you still have a ridge, then now it's better to bring your knees more closer to yourself. So you don't have that much of a, of a leverage point, like it's not so long. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, awesome job, ladies. Now, let's aim to do the whole thing again. Take some water. I don't know if you hear my baby crying, but I do. <laughs> so, I hope you don't. I don't know why, but she makes so many new sounds today. It's like as if she's discovering a whole new universe. <laughs> so for this second set, we're going to stick to 30 seconds instead of 40. So it gets easier. Okay, get ready. We start again with the legs and the glutes. You can take your weight or weights. And um, we start with the squat and calf raise, okay? Start, here we go, starting now. So, pulse, pulse, and raise. Pulse, pulse, raise. Five seconds. And that's it. Keep your weight. We're going to do lateral uh, lunges. Starting on the right side. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, remember, you want to keep your chest open. So keep your weight close to your chest. Five seconds. And there we are. Now we go to the other side, starting now. Actually, holding your baby and doing this exercise, it's also a form of um, weight. More challenging than the water bottles. <laughs> okay, five seconds. And there we are, okay. Stop. Keep your weight, we're going to do a single leg single leg deadlift with weight. So starting on the right side, remember we pass on our weight from left to right, here we go, or right to left. So balancing leg also holds my weight initially. Now I'm pass, uh, passing it on to the left hand, passing it back and stand up tall again. Here we go again. Five seconds. Switch to the other side. Here we go. Five seconds. And that's it. Okay. Now drop your weight. Lie down on your back for a split tabletop. Think pelvic floor. 30 seconds. Here we go. Your knees are 
in a 90 degree angle and you're going to open up your legs and close them again pushing your lower back into the floor thinking of your glutes your core muscles and your pelvic floor And that's it. Okay, we move on to the next circuit. So arms, back, chest, core. So take back your weights or bottles for our renegade row variation. So place them either within your arms or you can also do it without. Here we go either placing your weights next to your mat or bringing it towards your chest. That's the original renegade row. It's when you're basically rowing with your weight. Makes sense, I guess. Five seconds. And there we are. Release for the next one. Put away your weights and flip around. Easy for a posterior plank. So remember, you want to place your heels not too close, not too far either. So you can like push yourself up in this direction. Sorry, here we go. 30 seconds. Make sure that you don't hurt your neck so you can keep your chin tucked so for sure you won't hurt your neck. Two, one, and release. Oh boy, now my stomach starts to talk too. <laughs> okay, grab your weights for the last time for a lying overhead. Dumbbell pull, push, pull. Your knees are in a 45 degree angle. Remember your arms are holding your weights and they are above your face basically. And you're going to keep your upper arms still and just bend from the lower arms till your weights are either touching your forehead but not really touching your forehead or going over your forehead, okay? Here we go. 30 seconds, starting now. Ow. I told you don't bump your weights into your face. And guess what I just did? There we are. Put your weights aside. Stay on the back. We're gonna do a hollow body hold. Remember, shoulders are most important, but aim for shoulders and legs or feet. Here we go. And if you wanna release some pressure, then bring your knees up and try to aim for slightly higher, taking your shoulders further off the mat or stay stick to this position for another eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 